Hi, it's John, Vlogger Tag, Week 8, Sunday Edition. Well, sorry I missed last week. Uh, it was kind of a bad uh, weekend for me. A few days before that, my mom had had a uh, vein procedure at her doctor, and it uh, kind of took a lot out of her, and she needed me around to take care of her. And it's, uh, it was kind of scary. Uh, my mom has uh, been there for me over the years through a lot of illnesses, and now it's the time when uh, she needs me to take care of her. And uh, it's, it's weird, but I'm trying to do the best I can. <laughs> but I've got to say, I think I was a better patient than she is. Because boy, does she get frustrated. She likes everything in the house a certain way. And um, if things are not done right, she gets a little frustrated. But she deserves it, and I'm glad to be here for her. Right now, I'm personally looking into the purchase of a new wheelchair. Uh, over the last couple of years, I went from using crutches more to relying a little bit more on the wheelchair when I go out. And for a long time, I was just using uh, this kind of cheap wheelchair that I bought on eBay for about 150 bucks. And it's sturdy, but it's heavy. It weighs about 40 pounds. And it's a little difficult for me to get into the back of my car uh, by myself. So I've been looking around, and amazingly, I found a brand of wheelchair that's very well reviewed and uh, customized as I would like it. It would come to about just under 20 pounds which is amazing but it is pretty expensive so I'm hoping to get that together but that'll make it a lot easier for me to go out and possibly uh, do some remotes to you know do my uh, vlogger tag entry from somewhere more interesting than this room uh, there's so many choices when you look at a wheelchair you have to measure back height seat depth seat width uh, angle of the seat uh, there are more types of forks and front wheels than I ever thought as well as uh, the main wheels hand rims it's just it's a lot of choices so I was lucky to talk to somebody but of course the most important choice is the color and I'm very glad that I found a shade of purple that I like very much it's actually called electric candy plum so it's going to be stylish. All I need is some baseball cards and the spokes to make it super cool. Uh, I have to admit that uh, in my earlier days, when I first became disabled, I was kind of angry and I could, uh, I could snap at people that were just trying to help me. And um, I'm kind of ashamed of that. And I do my best now to be very polite. And again, meet a lot of great people here in Florida. And, you know, people sometimes... Uh, they will offer me help and I'm always very sure to say no but thank you very much for offering and a lot of people seem to have that question they don't know how to behave around a disabled person so I'll give you my best uh, advice is first of all when you see somebody you can try to assess their situation you know if they look like they've got everything together they probably don't need help if you kind of sense that they're kind of bumping up against something, they look a little distressed, you know, just come by and say, can I offer you some help? And that seems, you know, very obvious to me. But a lot of people, more than I would have thought, have a tendency to just sort of come up behind you and just sort of try to help you. And that is very disturbing. That happened to me one time when I was living in New York. And uh, there's a couple of steps up to my front door. So I was coming home with groceries. I'm there. I've got grocery bags in one hand. Uh, I'm opening the lock with the other hand. And somebody sees me, and they think they're going to help me by, you know, holding the screen door open behind me and helping me out. But the guy just comes up all of a sudden. You know, I'm unlocking the door to my house, and somebody's standing right behind me. I thought it was a push-in robbery. And, uh, you know, we laughed it off. But if you want to help somebody... Just don't come up behind me silently, which even my parents will do sometimes. It drives me crazy. Um, you know, don't manipulate me without me doing it, because if I'm on my crutches, it's already hard enough for me to stand. So if you do something that might change my balance, it's very disturbing. And, you know, I can... Bad words can be exchanged. You know, I've thought about this topic, and there probably is more advice than that. 
but I just can't come up with it now. So maybe I'll share some more tips with you in the future. The only other one that I can think of is that there's a big difference between saying to someone, pardon me, do you mind if I ask what happened? Why are you in a wheelchair? As opposed to just coming up to someone you've never met before and saying, what happened to you? Which has happened a couple of times and that's very disturbing. Because really, that's like walking up to someone and saying, tell me about the worst day of your life. So, again, that doesn't happen a lot, but just just thought I'd share it with you. All right. Otherwise, um, not much going on. I'm looking forward this week to trying to see Spider-Man Homecoming. It's a great summer for comic book fans. So far, uh, it's a tie between Marvel and DC. Marvel came out great with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which was awesome. DC's Wonder Woman, which I haven't seen yet, is supposedly pretty good. And so now we'll see how Marvel does with Spider-Man Homecoming. I hope to see it uh, before next Sunday, and I'll let you know my thoughts. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.